Hey, what's up, guys? Chung here, and so so today uh, I want to talk about uh, another lead code problem. Uh, One thousand two hundred thirty-one uh, divide chocolate. Okay, so let's take a look at this this problem. That's the description of the problem here. So you're given like a list. Uh, basically, you're given like a chocolate bar, and and yeah, actually, just basically, you're given like an array, right? And you have a um, on each of the each of the element is element is a sweetness of that position, and you need to split this chocolate bar into k minus one, sorry, k plus one pieces, right? And you will be eating the you will eat the piece with the minimum total sweetness and give the other pieces to your friends. Find the maximum total sweetness of the piece you can get. You can get, right? Basically, this one, just basically, it will, you need to divide. You need to divide uh, this array into k plus 1, into k plus 1 pieces, right? And then, you need to find the maximum, the maximum of the minimum subtotal of that sum of that sub sub arrays, right? Because that's the one you will be eating. So that's what this this uh, problem asks you to find. So you, first you divide, you find, you find all the you find that you you divide this arrays into k plus one sub arrays. And among those subarrays, uh, you will be eating the the ones you will get the uh, the ones with the minimum sums of the subarray. And among all those partitions, you need to find the maximum of that. So, um, so with this kind of problem, you know, there I think there are like a few others problems uh, in the lead code that were which was similar to this kind of uh, debate divide and that get the, the minimum of max or max of minimum so one of the solutions we can use from this for this prop this kind of problem is the is binary search basically we will define like the uh, the lower bound and the upper bound right lower bound and upper bound to be the to be the sum of the uh, to be the sum of the of this ar of array and And we'll be using this sum, right? We'll be using that sum to uh, to check how many pieces we can divide, right? Based on the uh, based on the uh, the target, right? And we'll be using that uh, that midpoint of the sum. As the current, as the uh, as the current groups, like as the limit of the of each group's sweetness, and we'll check by using that sum of the the of the sum of the sweetness for each group, how many groups we can we can partition, right? If we can partition the uh, more than k plus one, then we know okay, then we can keep going from that point onward, right? To to allocate more sweetness to each group. Otherwise, we we do we just do the other side until we reach the until we reach the uh, uh, until we reach the, uh, the the middle point. Then we know okay that's the sum that's the sum we'll be u we'll be using right. Okay. Um, Let's see. So basically, okay, I'll explain a little bit more uh, why I'm coding here. So basically, we're gonna have a left equals to one, right? And what what is the right? Right is the, the sum of the sweetness, right? Sweetness. So this 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 like range means like for each group, we basically we we try all the possible sums for each group from one. To the total because that's the 
one is the minimum sum for each group and the sum of sweetness is total is the maximum because, which means we will we'll be only participating uh the the entire group into uh, into one right into into one group and and then for that with that in mind with that range in mind we just do a, a binary search right so let's do a binary search in this case right so we do a left uh if left is not equal uh equal to right then we just keep going right and what's going to be the, our criterion right so first we'll be getting the the middle plus uh you know regularly normally we'll be using this one right so left plus right uh, minus left right and then we just divide it by two right and then uh so and with this like sweetness the current sum of sweetness we need to get the total count of the like how many uh how many uh cuts we we can get for this for this sweetness right uh, for that let's define the helper functions right uh, cuts count how about we do this cuts count with the, uh, the current sweetness right sum sweetness sum right We just do a cut count, right? Goes to zero, right? And we, what do we do? We, we simply loop through the the sweetness, right? For each sweetness in the in the sweetness the sweetness, we do a we do a current. So we need to have like current sweetness, right? Zero. Current sweetness plus the, uh, the s right and we check if the current sweetness is is greater or equal than than the than the sweetness sum right then this then this boundary here then this boundary here then we simply do a cut count right plus plus one right because we need to cut these things uh, in in sequence right that's every time with that with this limit we, we just do a we just do a cut here right and then after cut that we also need to set this current sweetness uh, back to zero right and then in the end we just return the uh, the cuts count right so let's say we have a cut count here right count equals to uh, uh, cuts let's do a get cuts count here get cuts count because basically we'll be just uh, passing the middle here right and so and then we, we do a check here right so basically that's the key point so if the count if the cuts count is uh, meets our criterion, right? What the, the meets our, the, our criterion means the uh, if the count can be cut at least k plus one, right? Because that's our our goal, right? Then we we know we know the uh, okay. So the answer is the answer is what? So the answer is somewhere in the middle. Yeah, uh, somewhere is in the from middle onward right to the right so we'll be setting the else we're setting the middle to the left i'll explain that a little bit later so right else we do a middle minus one why right okay so let's let's take a look so um let's say if if we can current if the current the cut the cut account meets our mean our, our requirements then we know the current middle right the middle might be the, the the result the reason we don't do a uh, middle plus one here is because it could because it's equal then it's equal than k minus one so the middle point might also might be the final result right we are not sure 
right? Because all we have, all we can, all we know is that the cost count is greater or equal than the k minus plus one. Then we know either middle is is our our answer, or or somewhere from from the middle to the right is our answer, right? And on the other side, so if the current the cost count is less than k plus one, then we know oh, okay, this sum is too much, it's too big, right? It's too big that we cannot cut uh, k plus one uh, groups. That's why we need to then because we do a middle minus one is that we know the current middle is not our it's not this definitely not our result because it couldn't even get our get k plus one group so we know okay the middle is not our result but we need to do a left a minus one sign to to right okay so so keep in mind here so if we do a left equals to middle right let's think about this scenario here and we do a left uh, less than right right let's say left equals to three uh, left equals to three and right equals to four, right? If the left and right only, the only, they are only have, they only one number uh, off, right? If we do this, if we do this, we will always get the left lower bound, right? Think about it. So three plus four, and we do a divided by two and the floor, and then, then we just move it back to three, right? Seven is basically 3.5, and we do a floor, right? So it will, it will move back to three. And with this thing, <laughs> a middle we set, with, with the middle we set to left, we'll be ending into an infinite loop. Right, because every time we stand, uh, we assign the middle back to left. But when when there's a when the left and the right, are, for example, in three to four, the middle will also become three, and then we assign the three back, and then here will be three and three. So basically, we'll be stuck here. So a little trick here is every time when we when we do a left assign to middle here, right, we want this thing to go one more above, right? So basically, we don't want our result stuck as this left here. That's why we need to, uh, need to do a plus one here. So in this case, in for that uh, for that three and four examples here, uh, when we have three and four, instead of getting three here, we'll be getting four, right? So that will be, uh, we won't uh, stuck in this infinite loop here. And by the time left equals to right then we know okay we have narrowed down all our possibilities and we find our sums to meet these requirements which is the uh, the minimum the the maximum of the minimum right so we, we, in the end we simply return either left or right it doesn't really matter because at, at this moment left equals to right right well cool so and I may I may upload some other videos with similar uh, problems later on but for this one let's do a, re a quick recap here so the idea here is that you know to be able to find the maximum total sweetness for uh, to divide this uh, array into k plus one groups we just do a binary search binary search the the lower bound for the for the for this like total sweetness is one right because the uh, the, the minimum number of the sweetness in, in here is one and the upper bound is the total total sweetness of the entire uh, the entire array and for each for each of the uh, every time we do a middle right so how do we determine uh, if we want to move to the left part or right part, right? The way we're we're checking it is the uh, we check with the current with the current sweet uh, sweetness as the, uh, the the groups as the total of each group sweetness and how many uh, cuts count can we can we make? 
that's why we have this helper functions here. If with the current uh, total sweetness, if we can make like uh, more than k plus one or equal than k plus one cut, right? Then we know okay, so this cut this this summary this uh, sweetness seems like uh, it might be a, a, the answer, right? Because we know k plus one is the answer, but we don't know if the count is greater than or if the count cut is, is more, right? Ha, has more than that. So if if the count cut ha, has more than k plus plus one, then we know hmm, it's a, we need to increase this count, uh, this sweetness a little bit more so that it can yield at, at exactly the k plus one count uh, cuts. And when the uh, when we when this while loop is finished, right? When the left equal uh, meet right, then we know we cannot move the left any uh, any further to the right side, right? You remember, so the left is a is, is small, right? The left is one, and the right is the total is the biggest sum we, we can get. Basically, we're trying to move our left our left pointer as far as possible. Right until it it can't right, then we know okay. So this is the this is the, the maximum sweetness we we can get. Uh, also while guaranteeing that we can make a k plus one uh k plus one uh, sweetness, right? Then in the end we just return the left. Okay, cool guys. Uh. Thank you so much for watching the videos, and I'll I'll try to do a few more of these similar uh, problems later on, and I'll upload those those uh, videos uh, as well. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, see you guys. Bye.